First things first, guys, you need products to have the perfect eyebrow. Product number one, a flat brush, something like this. This is what you'll use for your concealer. Product number two, you need a blending brush. But if you don't have one, you could use your finger. Product number three, an angled brush. Then number four, and most importantly, you need an eyebrow pencil. Well, this is mine. It's not sharpened because I'm not going to use an eyebrow pencil for this one. But if you want a tutorial using an eyebrow pencil, please do scroll down through my videos or I'll put a link down below or up here so you can be able to see it. So an eyebrow pencil or better still, an eyebrow pomade. Now the one I'm going to use today on today's video is the Anastasia Deep Brow Pomade in Ebony. Usually I use dark brown but I thought I should use Ebony, show you how you can use a dark eye pencil, a dark pomade, dark shade to have the perfect eyebrow. Okay. So I'm going to start off with my angled brush and my pomade. This is what it looks like. So I'll dip in just a bit. Like that. Just a bit. And then of course you'll need a mirror. So then what I'm doing right now is to map out my, my eyebrow shape, depending on the shape that I want. So I'm trying to draw the shape to guide, to guide me. I'll start with the bottom. I'll follow the shape of my eyebrow. So then I go above my eyebrow. Now the secret is to not do one sharp line like this. It will be too harsh. You have to do small brush strokes, small ones. As you can see, I'm using very, very short brush strokes. You do not want it to be like Sister Nanchinga's eyebrow. I mean your housemate. Let's go. Short ones. So always remember, naturally, your eyebrow is sparse right here. The hair here is sparse. It gets really dense right here and light right here. So to have dimension, on your eyebrow, what you have to do is make sure it's light here, dense, and then really, really dense to just create that sort of dimension and give you that clean looking eyebrow. So you use the pomade or the eyebrow pencil to kind of give you the, sh not kind of, to actually give you the shape that you desire. Personally, I don't use the eyebrow pencils before because it's been so hard to find an eyebrow pencil that is waterproof truly. Most of the eyebrow pencils say they are waterproof but they're not. Even the Mark Spikey pencils, those are expensive pencils, they are not waterproof. But the pomades, it's easy to find one that is waterproof. But right now, if I decided to go to the swimming pool, I'll still be able to have my eyebrow on. So what I'm doing now is, as, as you can see, I'm trying to fill in everywhere that they space. I fill in right here, I fill in right here. Because then you, don't, you just don't want to have a dark eyebrow. You want to have an eyebrow that is a bit natural looking. You know? So if you feel it's too dark, please use your spoolie to blend it out. So what you do, as soon as you're done mapping out your eyebrow, the next thing you're going to do is blend out the places you want to blend out so it doesn't look too harsh. When I say blending, I mean this is where your toothbrush or the spoolie comes in. And this is what you do. You pull it from the inside like this. It reduces the product. Then you brush it back to see what it looks like. If it's not what you like, sometimes you can even use your finger to rub away some product if you don't like it. You see that? So it's it's dark, dark, but it gets lighter as it goes and just has it has that gradual effect and it makes it look really, really, really natural. So I haven't yet used concealer, but it still looks amazing. And now we're going to move on to concealer. I know I did not mention it among the products you need earlier on, but you actually do need concealer. And the concealers I'm going to use today, I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD High Definition Concealer. You've seen these around Uganda. They are everywhere. And I'm going to use number 84, which is a shade or two shades lighter than my skin tone. And I'm going to use number 86, which is a shade darker than my skin tone. It is very important. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to this was a bit of it on my skin so the skin warms up the concealer. Okay then, once you have your concealer right here, 
it's very, very important for you to put the product, especially for cream or liquid products, to first put it on your arm, because then that your body has that body heat that will warm it up and it will glide on smoothly. Using my mirror, I'll get the shade that is lighter, and I'll go below my eyebrow. And then bring it down. Blending brush, you could use your, your finger and just dab it into the skin. But it's in the morning, you're trying to get ready, most probably, you need something that is going to move fast. So I'll use a blending brush. And I'll just tap the product into the skin, just dab it into the skin. So then I get the darker shade. And then I go above my eyebrow. Clean it out with my blending brush. So then I'll go back with my concealer, a lighter one. Okay, using my blending brush, blend that out. Look at that, like, look at the before and the after. <laughs> So then if you want to intensify the arch, you just have to use that bright color. Go right here and take it in a bit. And then blend it out. And lastly, I will use my spoolie to kind of blend all the products together. That's the pomade just to blend my natural eyebrow hair with the product. Without adding any more product, I'm going to use this to kind of go back and put some little product. That's if you over blend out. You don't want to blend it out so much whereby you can't even see the work that you've just done with the concealer. You can get your eyebrows surprised 24 7. Okay, guys, that is how you get your eyebrows snatched. This is my before, and this is my after.